first you'll want to check your Wii system menu version by going to Wii options and Wii settings. As you can see I have menu version 4.3U and you will need to know your system menu version for later. Next you can follow the link in the video description download the Wii theme pack. You can follow the next link in the video description and download the actual theme you'll be installing on your Wii. As you can see, there's the little video clips to show what they look like. And be sure to download the correct uh, theme for your system menu version. Like the Wii OS Leopard theme is good on menu version 3.2. Or the Zelda theme. It's good on any Wii system menu version. Or the one that I'll be installing, the Black Pirate theme. It's good on any 4 point system menu version, so anything from 4.0 to 4.3. So you can click the link, and then wait for it. and click skip add and once it's finished downloading you can right click the Wii theme pack and extract it using WinRAR which you can also download from the video description then you can open the Wii theme pack and go to the computer folder and the NUS downloader folder and then run the NUS downloader Then be sure to check the boxes for Create Decrypted Content and Pack WAD. Then you can go to Database, System, then System Menu. Then select the System Menu version of the Wii you want to install themes on. So mine would be 4.3U. There should be information at the top here now, so you can click Start NUS Download. And then once it's finished, you can go to the tile, Titles folder, and then open the next two folders. As you can see, there's several .app files, but you'll need the correct one for your system menu version. So you can open the README text file, and there should be a little chart to determine which app folder you should get, depending on your region and system menu version. So you can just drag and drop your uh, .app file to the desktop. Then you can go back and set up my menu. Then run it. And click next and follow the on-screen instructions. Alright, and then when it's finished, you can launch it. Then for the first thing, the source, you'll need the .app file for your system menu version. And then for the mym file, you'll need the .mym theme that you downloaded earlier. Once you get those two, you can create the my menu. And then you can select you can type the name for your, the CSM, the custom menu file that you'll be installing on your Wii. Be sure it ends with the CSM. Okay, next you can go back to the SD card folder in the theme pack. Then open the themes folder. And then copy the CSM and app file to the themes folder. Then you can copy the themes folder and the apps folder to your actual SD card. Click yes. And 
copy and replace if you get it. Then you need to remove the SD card from your computer and insert it into your Wii. And then you can go to the homebrew channel. And you, you can go to my menu of I, G U I, and load it. And then go down to the themes folder and select the .csm theme that you want to install. Click yes. And then exit when it's finished. Then you can restart your Wii so you can see what it looks like on a startup. As you can see, my startup screen is a little different than usual. And press A to continue. And now the main menu is black, like that. And if you go to the Wii message board, it's pretty cool, huh? Yeah, it's, it's pretty neat. And then go back to the regular system menu version and go to the homebrew channel. Load my menu of five. Go to the themes folder. And then select the dot app file. And then yes. And then exit when it's finished. And then exit to system menu. As you can see, my Wii menu, Wii theme, is back to normal.